Welcome to our lecture online and now let's take a look at this equation. Here we're trying to solve for theta but when you look at it closely it looks an awful lot like a quadratic equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to convert it to a, an equation in x that we're more familiar with. We're going to make the substitution let x equal the sine of theta. And then we're going to solve for x and we'll substitute back later on. So let's try that. So instead of sine of theta, we're going to write x. So this becomes 2x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. And now we're going to solve that equation. And I'm thinking that's probably factorable. Let's see if it is or not. So if it is, then we have to write it like this, the product of two binomials. We end up with a 2x and an x. And Okay, this has to be my, a 1 and a 1 because 1 times 1 is 1. Now there's going to be a positive and negative sign, and so we can kind of do a trial and error. Um, since this is negative, I bet you that this must be negative because then one time, negative 1 times 2x gives me minus 2x, and this is positive. 1 times x gives me a positive x. Minus 2x plus x gives me minus x, so that's probably correct. All right, so there's my uh, factored equation which means that if I have a product of two things that give me zero, that means either x minus one must be zero or two x plus one must equal zero. And of course that means that x equals one or two x equals negative one or x equals negative one half. So now that we have the two solutions for x, I'm going to substitute back for the sine of theta. So therefore, I can conclude that either the sine of theta is equal to 1 or the sine of theta is equal to negative 1 half. All right, so for what values of theta do I get the sine of theta equal 1? Well, there's only one. That's where theta is pi over 2. So again, if you look at the unit circle like that, Remember, the sine of the angle is the y value on the unit circle, and so that can only be 1 at this point right there. That means we're looking for an angle of 90 degrees, which is equal to pi over 2. So in that case, we know that theta is equal to pi over 2. But when can the sine of theta be equal to negative 1 half? Well, it can be equal to negative 1 half over here and be equal to negative 1 half over there. So that this value here is minus 1 half, and this value here is minus one half. All right, that means that this angle right here must be a 30 degree angle, and this angle here must be a 30 degree angle. Of course, now we're looking at angles between zero and 360 degrees. That would be 180 plus 30, which is 210 degrees. So here we can say that theta must equal 210 degrees, or go all the way around, that's 360 minus 30, or 360. 30 degrees, and of course we can convert that to radians if you like, but those are the, the, the possible answers. So if we convert that to radians, we have pi plus 1 6 radian, so that means theta is equal to pi plus pi over 6, or that would be 2 pi minus pi over 6, and those would be the other two possibilities in terms of radians instead of degrees. So those are the three possible solutions to this particular equation. That's how we do that.